Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 12.4 Developer Beta 4. This is out to developers, probably to public beta testers a little bit later, and came in at 261.6 megabytes for me on my iPhone XR. Let's take a look at the build number. You'll see the build number is 16G5046D, and normally when the letter is a D instead of an A, we still have a few more betas left, and really what this version is all about is Apple Card, and that's coming later this summer, so we're waiting for that to come out, and then of course iOS 13. But Apple Card will be available later this summer, so once 12.4 is released, I'm sure we'll see that. Now also, there is no new modem updates, so if you go in the settings, there's just nothing new, it's the same exact version. But I did notice that scrolling and performance seems to be really nice. The actual speed is great, and I don't have any lockup so far in settings, so that part's really nice. Also, when it comes to battery life, let's find battery here. When it comes to battery life, my 10R is at 100% and let's wait for it here and there we go i've been using my 10r primarily since ios 13 is not incredibly stable you'll see my screen on time was five hours and five minutes screen off time was 33 minutes and a lot of that time was using it as a personal hotspot and then i did have some email running in the background as well as twitter so it was pretty good with five hours with about 20 to 40 percent battery life left depending on the day so pretty good overall and i would expect beta 4 to be the exact same since it probably has some background tweaks and fixes and not a whole lot else going on in this particular beta. I would expect a few more versions too, maybe into July or even August until we see the release of Apple Card when we'll actually be able to get our hands on an Apple Card and use it for purchases in the fall when iOS 13 comes out and the new iPhones and new Mac Pro. And of course everyone's interested in iOS 13 beta 2 and I would expect that next Monday or Tuesday on the 17th or 18th, somewhere around those dates. So that's really what I'm looking forward to. But everything seems fast and fluid and of course it will take a few days to know how battery life is for sure. But I did run a Geekbench on this just to see if it's any different. So let's take a look at that. You'll see Geekbench scores for the single core is 4,792, whereas the multi-core is 11,267. So it's pretty close to what it was before. Let's take a look at the history. If we take a look here, look at these two middle ones, you'll see the scores are very comparable. It actually increased a little bit since May, so it's pretty good overall. The single core was slower, but the multi-core was better. So I would expect the performance to be right about the same, and I've had no lockups throughout, so that's great so far. Let me know what you think about this though in the comments below. Are you on iOS 13 or are you sticking to the betas or are you on the final version? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.